Welcome back to the channel. Click like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you get all the content. Uh, click the bell. Make sure you get all the updates for the channel. Who is this guy? This guy is well known comic book character. Everybody should know him around the world. And he's Superman. What does Superman do? He comes around, he saves the day. And the topic for today is no one's coming to save you. All right. So once you get that in your head, no one's coming to save you. You can start processing how you can save yourself. There is no Superman. There is no magic pill, no silver bullet to help you achieve all your dreams and all your goals and um, get to the next level. Mentally, spiritually, financially, if that's where you want to go. Many times people are looking for some outside influence or someone or some entity to come in, some financial uh, revelation to come in and save them from their troubles. And on the flip side of that, they become needy and waiting on Superman or Superwoman or Supergirl, or whatever she's she's known as, to come help them when they should really be looking in the mirror and helping themselves. Now, this is a hard thing to do, a very hard thing to do, to actually self-access and look inside yourself and look in the mirror to to find out what's keeping you and what's not working for you to become successful or to be happy or if you're just going through some type of depression or anything like that. Now, there are instances where, you know, it may be clinically, you're, something's wrong with you clinically, and I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the self-inflicted wounds um, that we we stress and put on upon ourselves. Um, sometimes, especially with finances, uh, we we back ourselves into a corner Instead of paying uh, bills off, we uh, go get the latest latest toy or the latest gizmo gadgets or things like that that we really don't need. Uh, we just want for our own benefit, and that causes financial hardship down the line because we'll just say, for instance, you wanted to buy iPhone 11, but your iPhone 9 was still working. But you wanted to upgrade just just to be known as this is you you know that something is missing from you and you don't know what to do maybe it's mental maybe physical maybe spiritual and maybe it's financial so where do you go introducing the school of you what is the school of you the school of you has courses based to help you physically mentally spiritually and financially your all-in-one stop shop for you to complete you maybe you don't need everything we have individual courses to help you to become you just fill out the information below and become you again as have the the newest toy or the newest latest gadget now if you can afford it and everything is paid off Yes, by all means, uh, if you want to speak your money that way, then go ahead. But many times, we find out that some of the people that don't need to be spending that type of money puts themselves in that, in that situation, and then uh, a bill or something might come up, or an unexpected loss might come up, and they're scrambling, and... You see them with GoFundMe or something like that when they could have really just buckled down. They could have kept that iPhone 9 instead of upgrading to the iPhone 11. And I'm just using iPhone as as the parameter here because that's many people just that's what they do. They upgrade their phone and cars or or their clothing or something like that. 
And my main point in this video is to tell you to change your mindset. Um, nobody's coming to save you. You have to save yourself. You have to. How you save yourself is you self assess. You have to self assess and look yourself in the mirror and make sure that you're happy with the person that's staring back at you. And if you don't have that, you should probably reach out and grab some help mentally, physically, or emotionally. Emotionally, you have to find out what's your why. What what's your why of existence? It's not always financial or things like that. You have to find out what drives you, what motivates you, what makes you happy. And some of us may not even be motivated as far as financial and stuff. We might be happy where we are in our jobs and stuff. It's just other areas and aspects of our life that we need to self-assess and change. All right. The reason why I'm doing this video is because Although this channel is more about money making and strategies and stuff about making money, you have to be able to be happy with no matter how much money you come in with. That you want to be happy receiving that type of money or receive, receiving those type of changes that can help you financially. It's all a mindset. So money doesn't solve all money problems. Everybody thinks money solves money problems, but Money discipline solves money problems, not money. And what I mean by that is that you can make ten thousand dollars a day, and you can still, if your expenses is going out at twelve thousand dollars a day, you still won't have enough money. Um, on the flip side of that, you can make twenty thousand dollars a day, and your bills are like eighteen thousand, and you just blow blow the rest of it. Or you're not being financially responsible with some of the monies coming in. But this it's all a mindset thing. So again, nobody's coming to save you. You might make sure you take care of yourself. Um, if you need to reach out and find some help, you can find some help. I do have a course for 19 bucks about changing different mindset, uh, yoga some type of mental exercises and stuff like that. I'll leave the link in the bottom of the screen there and the bottom in the comment section. Section, not session. Section, we'll leave the, the, the link to the classes in the comment section. All right, that's this, this it for this video. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, again, try to... Uh, Try to do something for yourself. Um, change your mentality because nobody's coming to save you. Uh, we'll see you next time on the channel. Thank you.